Hey everybody and welcome to part 4 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. All that remains in this uh, el or this part of this world are these two levels. Um, let's go to Huracos first because Huracos is actually a level where we can get 100%. Also my girlfriend is kind of not texting me as much today because she's busy. Plus she's also worried that um, she's not going to get as many hours because some guy is taking time off school to work more. Yay! Yeah, so that's gonna suck. And also, my least favorite world or level in any Spyro game. I mean, any Spyro game. Uh, not because it's difficult, not because it's bad design. I just don't like the gloominess of it. Like, I love gloomy and rainy days, but this level just... I don't know. It's really weird. I'm not really a fan of it. But anyways, let's talk to this guy. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you can find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Yeah, I don't get it. You guys are all blind. Okay, fire doesn't work on their butts. So yeah, you pick up those little light bulb things that are called diodes, and then you just put them into the sockets. Also, these robots are annoying, because listen to them. Yeah, that gets annoying when they get close. Oh, also, you get an extra life if you flame all of these little wooden windmills. It was really easy to find the two diodes for this next set of gates. Hey, Mr. Robot. Man, how did he even know I was there? He must have like a spiral the dragon sensor on him. <laughs> Anyways, let's collect all of these gems. Remember, there's always 400 gems in every level in this game. So you can expect the same amount. There's a pretty rainbow in the distance. Let's just get a good look at that. Oh, it disappears when you turn around. See? Gone. There. Rainbows are created by light going through rain particles slash water particles. Okay, now, I believe there are some goodies to go back here. Yeah, a lot of people miss this stuff just because of, like, the weird location. Uh, as for those, you'll come back for them, so don't worry. You're not going to miss them. Unless you're in a hurry and you actually do forget them, then, oh man, it sucks for you guys. So, in four parts, we're probably going to get done the first world, depending on how long this level takes. So, yeah. We're, do we're making pretty good time. Like, I'm trying to make the videos around 20 to 30 minutes. That way, you know, they're not overly long, but at the same time, they're a decent length. Ah, oh, I flamed you before you smacked me, bro. There we go, we got the second diode. I believe, technically, this also is the last part of the level. It is. Yeah, this level is one of those levels, once again, that's not very big, but everything's cram-packed into one little area. And that's what makes it somewhat more difficult. Well, more challenging, because everything's up above. Just like in Quarry Towers, there was a whole upper level. With, like, a lot of gems and stuff. But the same goes for this level. Now our first orb, and probably the most difficult orb, so once again in this level is another one of those levels where you can get two orbs from one one set of challenges. This level also has one that comes in here. This guy's very annoying, so I'm not going to deal with them yet. I want to make sure I collect everything first. Now you may be thinking, oh man, why don't you just put all these orbs in right now and do this? Those thieves will actually take them out and then you can't get the orb, and then two, you actually have to kill them all once you actually accept the challenge, because, well, these guys, well, they make sure that you can't complete your challenge. Ellie, hey there, little buddy, can... What are you doing? Oh, these gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Hey, at least they're not thunderstones from Pokemon. Difficulty 4. Um, I wouldn't say this is a difficulty 4 challenge. Not by a long shot. I'd give it like maybe three tops. Like, there are challenges in this game that are rated really, really high for no apparent reason. Yet, there are other challenges that should be rated a lot higher. Now, they'll start to laugh when they when they spawn in, so just listen to their laugh. Or we'll listen for their laugh. Kind of like how in God of War we had to deal with like the sirens. I believe you'll see these episodes around the same time frame. So, be on the lookout for that. 
Oh wait, you also hear that siren. And then you have to kill them. And see, they'll start doing that shit and juggling them around. I believe there's three waves of these guys, technically. There we go. I think there was one around here, right? No? Okay, I guess not. Good job, Barfro. There's one that we're missing there. We'll just put this one up there. Finish this side first, I guess. It's probably a... Probably also takes the longest uh, out of doing the entire level. Like, the entire level is really short. So let's get all the ones that we need up here first. I'm thinking of actually doing Sly after God of War. But you guys can leave a comment if you guys want to see Sly. Wait, that's it? Just the one enemy? Wait, never mind. There's this guy. Can I have that back, please, sir? You're a real dick butt kiss, McGee. Thank you. And also see your progress on how many you've charged up by looking at this. There's only three that we need. So that means in the entire lower portion of the level, there's only three. I wonder... Wait, what the... Dude, where'd you go? Okay, that was weird. Oh, there you are! And these guys must be up here, right? No, they're in the lower half again. Well, there you are. Can you stop ruining my day, sir? Blech. Blech. <laughs> you know, these guys are just goofballs, really, honestly. They don't hurt you. I don't even think they can if they wanted to. Hey, there you are. There, with them all dead, you technically don't finish your challenge, which is why this makes it one of the longer challenges. Just because you have to do that, and then you also have to do all of this. All this damn maintenance. These old electrols can do themselves. So you think being super smart, they create some kind of like defensive mechanism, but nope, they don't. Dun -dun. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. Well, thank you for an orb. May as someone as smart as you does not know what an orb in the kingdom of Avalar is, because I'm pretty sure these are all Avalar worlds, not dragon worlds, because obviously there'd be dragons. I believe the first game is technically the dragon world, and then the second one is Avalar, and then the third one is Lost Worlds. Which is the old dragon worlds that just, you know, are no longer used. But still. Burn. Shit. I've seen that coming a mile away. I got stuck on him. Man, that's the most damage I've taken in a spiral game in a long time. <laughs> got you before you could hit me there, buddy. Are there any rat? Never mind. Full lives also give you full health, by the way. Ta da! Magical. Oh man, there's lots of goodies down here. Oh, you only need one diode. Okay. That's not bad at all, then. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please, take it as a reward. Oh yeah, I'll happily take it as a reward. Oh, it's an ugly gear! Ew, it's the black murky portal of death. Now, to actually... I thought I'd seen a... oh. Like, I could've sworn I had seen a basket. Well, there's the basket that I had seen. Uh, to deal with this, you need the supercharge ability that was out here. This one. Also gems. Um, I recommend you do this one first. So to get up to the actual challenge, you need to break that one open. And then you just need to deactivate all of these windmills. We'll slow them down by putting these switches. I 
and then we have to do it again. And then one more time after this. Okay, you can skip it. Like, we don't need to actually... You know, a lot of cutscenes in these games are pointless. And we just need this one right here. And we're good to go! So, let's head over here. Spyro, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Okay. Just glide over to the factory. It's funny because you don't actually glide over there the first time. The first part of the challenge is literally to do it halfway. Because technically we're on the factory right now, but it's pointless. Just being on here literally does nothing for us. Aha, I made it. And some more jammies. And you'll give me my first orb. Byro, you've done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. If you have it. Hey, and anything about shutting down the factory, blah blah blah. The next And a five star challenge. I once again don't think that even with this challenge, it does it actually deserve five stars, because literally this is just a gliding challenge. If you know how to glide, run and walk, well guess what? You know how to do this challenge, then this is like Seriously, do you need to make it sound like it's way more tough than it is? Thank you. And there's that lifelike skill point, I guess. Like, in this game, it doesn't actually say skill point, but you, you just know deep down that there's skill points. Wait. I forgot damn gems again. There we go, we shut it down. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Well, I will happily take this. And we just gotta find out where the last of the gems are. Wait, why are you pointing this way? Which means... Oh, it's in the end of the level, isn't it? I think it's, I think it's actually in the end of the level. See what I mean? Like, oh wait, what the hell? Oh, there, there you go. Hey, you know what, guys? Let's actually take the portal out for once. We never do that, so here we go. call them little derps. Cause then we never have to go to my least favorite level again. You're not even getting in the thumbnail of this video. I refuse to put you in the thumbnail, bro. Anyway, Sunny Beach. A level that we can't 100% complete. So, we're probably just gonna bum rush this level. Anyways, we gotta watch another cutscene. Yippee-ki-yay, Mamacita! Oh god, that turtle got an electric poker. Now, we're not even gonna bother talking to him. All you have to do is flame this, and it'll move it. You may actually get these turtles to the end of the level. The baby ones, at least. Not the big ones that are dopey. We'll get most of the level done, but two of three orbs we can't get yet, because once again, given to you by the same person, but with a challenge that you can't actually beat, because, well, guess what? You need to climb to get up to it. Like, if, if you could cheat, there are cheats to this game. Like, in-game cheats that give you all the power-ups and stuff. Not like, not like, hacker cheats, or, you know, like, please insert Game Shark here or there. No, 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 not like that. I mean, there's actual legitimate cheats in the game. Like, a lot of games had cheats built in. Like, even Rash and Clank have, like, big head mode and stuff like that, and this is awesome. I absolutely love it for, you know, in my personal opinion. A lot of people don't like to cheat. Goodbye, Mr. Waterdoo. Hey, Duckman! You take two hits to kill? I'm fine with that. Because either way, you're still gonna die! Oh, yeah, I love destroying weird ass duck people for breakfast. Okay, apparently I still need to flame one more time. Alright, there we go. Open up the door and let out all those babies while I collect other goodies because. 
I am a great guardian. Not of the galaxy, or of destiny, but of turtles, because guess what? I flam other turtles around them, and let them run off to God knows where while I collect gems and kill other dudes. Now, yeah, well, like I said, too, you cannot even get 100% on the gems here. You cannot get 100% on this level at all. We need 11 enemies. I only have 9, so we need to kill 2 more. Well, here's one of two. See, this won't take us very long to get what we came for here. Boom. Boom. Now what we have to do is we use this power-up to free some turtles. Some baby turtles. Okay, please turn your head. There we go. One of seven boxes of turtles destroyed. Because apparently these enemies are imprisoning baby turtles. Which is kind of weird that they're doing something like that, but... Whatever get oh god, they have hearts. Are they making love to each other? Guys, they're making love to each other. It's incestual turtle incest. Yay. It really made no sense because I just like said incest a bunch of times for some reason. Thank you, please destroy that. And then I believe yeah, there's this one. And then I think the other ones are all going back out. Like the other way. So Never mind, there are turtles back there. God damn it! You gotta do an annoying loop around again. I just wanna get as many of the gems as possible right now. Okay. Let's grab this. And go back for those turtles. Because, you know, we can have lots of fun destroying turtles. There we go. We just had to destroy the two last ones, which one is up there, and then one is in the water, where, you know, we fought those, um, weird snorkeling... I don't even know, because Ripto, apparently, like, in all the GBA games, Ripto's always the boss, and he's like, Oh my god, his Riptox! He didn't have Riptox! First of all, the Sorceress in the third game has, uh, Rhinox. And Ripto never actually used a race of anything. He just sent out whatever minions he could. Impressive! Most impressive. Please take this sacred, uh, thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. See, there's that voice again, and impressive thingamajig because you didn't even know what it was. Only orb we can actually get here, too. Yeah, there are three orbs, but occasionally you'll find four orbs. I don't believe we've had a level with four orbs, but... Like, once we get the ability to climb, we are totally backtracking. Because backtracking is very important. We can finish off the entire first world, too. Boom. Oh, great. Duckman. Boom. Ooh. Hi, 1999. I believe that's when the third Spyro game came out. Also, pretty much the end of the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2 then came and had one of the best libraries of all time for games. Like, it had Jack and Daxter 1 through 3, it had freaking Ratchet and Clank 1 through 4, it had um, God of War 1 and 2, it had Sly 1, 2, and 3, it had, um, frick, it had like lots of Mortal Kombat, like there's so many good games for the PS2, it's crazy. Most of my favorite PS3 games also happen to be PS2 games, but whatever. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please, take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Uh, okay. Well, that one's pretty. Not the best, but it's pretty. And now we might as well leave, because there's nothing we can do here ever again. Okay, maybe not ever again, but, but still, you know what I mean. That's not safe. Not safe at all, game. Three, eight, we're only missing 20 gems from that level. See what I mean? Like, it's just bullshit. That you, that you're just missing that tiny amount. Now, if we got everything, we should be teleported. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. There's how many talismans? Okay, Spyro. Jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck! 
Oh, yay, you're gonna catch sheep. Woo woo! Crush. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now, let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my, I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the portal, you idiot. To all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly. No! Go! Crush, get the orbs now! Despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. Man, I guy was like, I'll kill you. But, but do you see Crush's face? I don't want to kill Crush. He's so beautiful and cute. So anyways, we have our first of three boss fights. Just jump over the shockwaves and you'll be fine. Boom, chakalaka. Repto looks big over there. Repto is not actually big at all. He's really tiny. He's probably the tiniest spiral like, villain ever in any game. Now, I believe he'll do red next. Yeah, and this one's a little more annoying to avoid because guess what? He's going to shoot fireballs. And we'll just flame him again. Once he gets down to three health, he'll change up his pattern. There's also, I believe, a skill point if you kill him without taking damage, I think. You know, like the extra life thing. There, we got him before he actually got the shield from the the uh, pad. Now, some of them will turn blue. And he'll now either create three shockwaves or three fireballs. And on top of that, he will also chase you with his giant spike club that looks like it has one of his teeth. Pretty sure he's missing a tooth when he used it on his club. Oh, you're actually doing one of these. I don't mind this platform. This one's really easy to avoid. Hey. Okay, I'm like, am I actually gonna hit him? I would have sucked if I didn't. He does catch up to you pretty quickly, though, so watch out. Alright, one health left. Oh, and he's on that platform. Oh, poor guy. He's gonna get destroyed. Hey. Either way, he was just going to that other platform. Uh oh. Uh oh, run. Oh, there we go, he's dead. Get yeah, 15 lives. Crush the cuteness, defeated. Oh, poor Crush. I like the guy. No, Crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. <laughs> Come here now! Destroy him and make 
make sure it's painful. What? The roof? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon. What a wuss. In Autumn Plains. <laughs> that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that, and that. Move. Ah! Why, you, you... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ripto took over Autumn Plains. So, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. And in the next episode, we will do Autumn Plains, as well as do a lot of backtracking. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.